Hey guys, my name is Luke, I'm one of the systems engineers here at Veeam in Australia and today I'm going to be showing you how to run a VEX recovery using off-site storage. Now, first off I'm going to start with just showing you the backup copy job. So I'm taking the copy of some backup files and I'm moving those up to an Azure server instance using the WAN accelerator in Veeam's backup and replication software. So I'm going to actually speed this on and transition off to the end so we don't have to wait around. Now the whole process of copying those two servers up there took around about 20 minutes and that first server is a uh, DC and Exchange and the second is a SharePoint server. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is come in and delete some emails from my Outlook Web Access. So I'm going to just put my credentials in there. And we're going to delete those email items there. And next, we're going to just log into Azure. You're going to have to bear with me here. I'm going to have to do a bit of a split screen here. So I'm just going to leave that server, which is running locally here. And then I'm going to connect up to my Azure instance. And you can see I've actually got an, inst uh, an install of Veeam Backup and Re Replication in the Azure server as well. Now that's so I can run a quick rescan, which I've done there, and you can see that off-site storage has been picked up. Those those backup files have been picked up, and I'm going to run a file level recovery from that that APAC DC01, which is a DC and Exchange server. Now once I do that file level recovery. Um, we browse through to the EDB file in the Exchange server. Anyone who's worked with Exchange will be familiar with this. And there's my EDB file, so I double click on that, and Veeam Explorer for Exchange um, opens up. It's pretty quick, it's not a particularly big database. Um, I can open up my email there and all of my items there and you can see I've got my inbox items there. I've actually done a clear down, that's why there's so many in there. But okay, those top emails that um, we were looking at before that have been deleted, I'm going to restore those directly back into my user account. So first off, the mailbox, which is just the email address. And then I'm going to use my credentials to restore those back in. And we're going to restore those directly back to the original folder and just type in the name of the Exchange server. Now, I've actually created a VPN from my network into the Azure instance, and that's how I'm doing this. Um, this Exchange server could be one that's uh, online; it could be on on the in on the internet. So, you know, there's there's lots of scope for different scenarios here. And you can see those emails starting to restore directly back into my mailbox. So really, really quick recovery. And that's going across a WAN and from a backup copy job using Veeam's WAN accelerator. So I hope you liked it. Um, if you've got any other questions, feel free to drop me a line. It's luke.miller at veeam.com. And um, thanks for joining.